Hello everyone, Akash here. If your car got repossessed right now at this moment and you're thinking what are your options right now? How could you minimize your damage that you know it happened? So again, people learn from their mistake. You know, personally, I would say if you're in a situation right now, you probably need a car at this moment. How this could impact your KDD score at this moment. So this, you're going to have, let's say your car has been taken from you. They're going to try to sell the car, but they're not going to sell the car at least 45 to 60 days, most likely. Okay. And they're most likely going to sell that car in a wholesale market. So you have to know how much money your car was worth like kelly blue book or something like that check out the car you could put all the information on how much car you're really worth right. the car company you own them ten thousand dollar and they took the car from you and the car you checked out the cash value of that car is six thousand dollar basically you want them four thousand dollar but they're gonna sell the car in wholesale so they're not gonna get the six thousand dollar the cash value of the car most likely like 60 days later, they might send you a letter that they sold the car for $5,000 and you own them $10,000. I'm just giving you an example for $10,000 because everybody's car situation could be different. So you just got the idea of how this thing works. So now they're going to send you a bill for $5,000 because they sold the car for $5,000. You own them $10,000. So you have to come up with that $5,000. Okay. If you just pay that $5,000, then you're okay your credit score gonna go down a little bit but not too much because you paid that five thousand dollar but if you don't pay that five thousand dollar money to basically the collection agency the collection agency gonna call you they're gonna drag you for a few years you know that's gonna stay in your record for seven years so every time it goes to collection agency and they keep on calling you they're trying to get the money from you is gonna have more and more negative impact on your credit score but even like in three months like I said, if you just paid that $5,000, then you're not going to have that much impact on your credit score. But this is what can you do. So you know they took the car for you this week or this month. They just took it. So you know you have 60 days, 70 days, 80 days, 90 days. It doesn't matter when they're going to sell the car. They're going to send you a bill. So try to save up some money. You're thinking, okay, it might cost me about $4,000 or $5,000 in ballpark if you really worry about your kd score try to save up some money within that three months or two months period of time so you know they're going to send you a bill and you'll be ready to pay for it this way you're going to minimize your impact on your kd score and also in the meantime you're paying all your other bills like your credit card bill phone bill any other bill you have personal loan you're paying those bills on time you just had a situation with this you know at this moment that you didn't have the money to pay and this is the situation you got in. So again, if you just completely don't pay, it goes to collection agency, then definitely it's gonna impact you for a long time. But if you just pay even three months, four months, you have the money you paid, you just pay it when they send you the bill, then that's the best way to do it. So what can you do to make sure you don't get into a situation like that again? I would say compromise yourself. If you're thinking to buy another car near future, because you definitely need a car, so if you're thinking you're going to get into same kind of situation, you could get into situation like this again. So what can you do? I would recommend to buy a car cash. Okay. Maybe you're not going to like the car as much or you like new car or fancy car, but you know, compromise yourself, get a car, maybe $5,000 car, save up some money. So this way you don't have no monthly payment. You don't have to pay full coverage for that car. And you don't have to worry about somebody going to take your car away from you. When your life gets better, financial situation gets better. There's many videos you could check out on my channel, money saving tips that could help you to save money. So when your situation get better, then you could always get a car, you know, in future. So don't just feel bad about it that, you know, you just lost your car and you feel definitely bad. But if you get in a tough situation in life, you have to think about how I could get out of it and make my life better so I don't get into a situation like that. You always remember the low point of in your life. Hope this video was helpful to you. Many great videos you'll find in my channel that could really help you save money long run. So check it out and consider subscribe to my channel. Take care.